Hello, Daz Studio community. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Now, this week's tutorial is coming kind of out of the blue because I got a message from one of my patrons. Uh, thank you, Paragon North, for asking this. So, last week he had a suggestion, and it was this. He says... Tutorial suggestion. I'm trying to put a window prop into a wall that doesn't have a window sill. I'm talking about a pre made thick wall and not a 2D plane. Geometry editor is kind of complicated. Is there an easier way to do this? Well, I worked on this a little bit and I did come up with a way that I'm going to show you. I asked him what the prop was and he said it's the upper wall from the modern vacation house from Tesla 3D from Daz Studio. So it turns out that I actually have this prop and so I was playing around with this trying to figure out a good way to make a permanent wall and I'm going to show you how I did this. now. I hope you don't find this too convoluted or time consuming, but it does take a little bit of time and without using your primitives makes it a little bit different, but we can certainly do this. And so um, I talked with Milica, I kind of caught her off guard kind of in the morning she was getting ready for breakfast and uh, she looks a little bit surprised that we're doing this today, but I'm going to take this prop and we're going to create a new window. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out and this is the prop. It's just this house. It's a modern looking house, really nice prop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a window where there's not a window. So actually a good spot to do it is right here. That's highlighted. So I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to create a window on this wall right here. Normally, I would use the geometry editor, but this prop, if we go to our wire texture, we can see that there's very little geometry. However, the modern house is broken up into lots of different sections. So you can see like this section here that's highlighted. If I go to my scene is the upper wall number five. And so actually the lack of geometry is going to help us with this technique that I'm going to show you here. All right, so let's get started because this is going to take a few minutes to actually get done. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide where my wall and my window is going to be. So I'm going to put a window right here where this wall is. So the best way that I know how to do this without using your primitives and getting into that kind of a mess and trying to match the textures and all that kind of stuff, I kind of found what I think is an easier way to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this part of the house, this upper wall number five, and I'm going to come up here to edit and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to make a copy of that section of the wall and I'm going to leave the original wall alone and I'm going to scroll down until I find that duplicate. Once I find the duplicate, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to move it up. All right. So I was in the wire lit frame and I'm just back in texture. Now, what we're going to have to do with this duplicate is mess with it with our geometry editor. However, I've discovered that even with the copy, if I mess with the geometry editor of the copy of the wall, it seems to mess with the original. So what we're going to do first is we are going to save this wall that we duplicated as a scene subset. Now to do that, it's pretty easy. We're just going to go to file, save as scene subset, and I am going to put this into my scene subset and we're going to save it as a wall test. And I 
already have a wall test saved, but I'm going to do this again. I was kind of playing with this before, you know, I started the uh, tutorial to make sure this works well and it's easy. But I'm going to save it as the wall tutorial. All right. And to do this, I only want that wall. So I'm going to unselect or deselect, I guess, everything in the scene except that wall. So I'm gonna get into here and where that wall is, is clear down here at the bottom. I just wanna match it up, it's number two. So it's the NVH upper wall five number two. I'm just gonna select that, all right and make sure everything else in the whole scene is not selected. Then I'm gonna hit accept and we're gonna save that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to that wall test. We don't need to save anything. I don't need this duplicate wall, so I'm gonna just hit no because the scene was saved beforehand. So now I'm gonna open up just the wall that we created. So here it is, we just have to search for it. That wall is somewhere, see, there it is. Now it's in the correct position, so I am not gonna move my wall at all because I want it to be where it actually was saved, but I'm gonna move my cameras. Okay, so now we have this wall. Now here is where we're gonna get into the geometry editor. And so now I can edit and change this as much as I want. And the lack of geometry on this wall is really actually going to help us. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this window to put into the house and get rid of the wall that's kind of around it. So I'm going to go uh, select it here. So we're just going to select this upper wall number five. I'm gonna go to my tools, go down to geometry editor, and now I can select different parts. You can select more than one geometry polygon by holding down the control button. So I can just select these walls. And because there's not a lot of geometry, we're not gonna have to select 500 polygons. We can just select these big ones, which is really nice for this prop. All right, so I have some of the polygons selected. This isn't all of them. Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to geometry editing and I'm gonna select de uh, delete selected polygons. It's gonna give me this warning that says I can't undo this if I select it, but I'm gonna say yes and our polygons are gone. Now we still have some more, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit control, select more polygons here and I'm gonna get rid of all of these polygons that are dark. This must be the inside of the wall I think so we're just gonna get rid of them. Holding down control I may not get them all on this first one but I'll release control go to editing delete selected polygons gives me that warning again Okay, I missed one right here, so we'll get rid of that one. It looks pretty good. There is a black strip right here that I noticed when I did my test. We can select it. If you're not quite sure of what you've selected, you can always right click, go to visibility and say hide selected polygons. See, it made that invisible. So we may not want to get rid of that, or we may. I can select, looks like there's a little part of the wall that I missed here, so we'll just select it. All right, I can go to here, go to visibility, hide selected polygons. The thing about the hide selected polygons that you need to be aware of is that if you only hide them, when you save and go back, they'll show up again. So if you want those polygons to not be visible, you have to delete them. So see if I go show all polygons, then it's back. So I think that we're gonna have to leave this black strip. Okay, now once I have my window the way that I want it, I'm going to save it. So I'm just gonna to go to File, Save. It's gonna ask me what I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it the wall test. It's in my subset folder. So I'm just gonna save that. 
All right, now I'm going to go back to my original scene, open it up, and we're going to add this window to the house. Okay, so I'm back in the original. Let's get away from Cutie Milica. We'll go back to our scene. Now what I need to do is just merge the two scenes together. So I'm going to go to File, Merge, and I'm going to select that wall test. And there's the window that we just created. Now what I need to do is I need to put this window in this wall right here. So I'm going to have to go back to the geometry editor. And the first thing I want to do is I want to select that upper wall number five on the house. So it's selected. I'm going to go to my geometry editor and I'm going to select those polygons to get rid of. So there's three of them. I'm holding control like I did before. I'm going to right click, go to editing, geometry editing, delete selected polygons. Gives me that warning. I'm going to say yes. Now there is like an interior, I guess, that we're going to delete too. So I'm going to select those polygons, go to editing, delete selected polygons. And now we have this space in the house. Now I can select my window that I created and move it into place. So I'm going to get out of geometry editor. I'm going to select my window. I'm going to move it down and over. And we're just going to kind of play with it until we get it where we want it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, now what's cool about this is I've made this wall its own prop. So I can shrink it, make it bigger, I can do whatever I need to do to make it match that wall better. So you can play with it now and get it to match. And now, see, I can take this upper wall or I can take the whole thing if I want to permanently add it and I can just go to my modern house. I'm just going to drag it up to the modern house and add it in. And now if we move the house or whatever, it's part of the, the actual prop. Okay, so I hope that helped. Maybe a convoluted way to do it, but... That's how I would do it to match it perfectly. We can run a um, eye ray, but you can kind of get an idea that now we have a window where we didn't have one. And you can see right through. See, I can see into the house and everything. All right, let's get back to Milica, that cutie. All right, and I have the scene set up. So I'm going to run a render to make my thumbnail. And if you have any questions about this, comments, I'd love to hear what you have in mind. If you have an easier way of doing this, let me know because, you know, I'm just showing you how I do stuff. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way or the wrong way. It's just my way. This is how I would do that if I needed to make a window in my house and I didn't want to use those primitives, this is how I would do it. So let me know what you think about this. And uh, I'm going to get this rendered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit me up with some comments. Let me know what you think. And until next time, have a great day.